Don't be a follower, stick boy. Written and illustrated by Bertie Chesson. This is Stick Boy and Cookie. Stick Boy and Cookie have many friends. Boxley is one of them. Sometimes they all go to the park and play catch together. One day, Cookie went home early from playing with Stick Boy and Boxley. Do you want to see something, Stick Boy? asked Boxley. Stick Boy said, sure. Boxley and Stick Boy walked to an old house. Boxley threw a rock really hard and broke a window. Stick Boy was shocked. Stick Boy, do you want to try? Nobody lives there. No thanks, said Stick Boy. Boxley threw another rock at another window. Stick Boy watched as Boxley picked up another rock. He threw more rocks until all of the windows were broken. Mr. Cone Man yelled, Hey, I see you. I'm telling on both of you. We have to run away from this house before we get caught over here, said Boxley, and they ran away. They ran back to the playground. There were other kids there. Conita and Conton asked, do you want to play with us? Boxley pushed Conita and said, no way. We don't like you, Coneheads. Go away. As Conita and Conton walked away, they yelled back, you two are so mean. Stick Boy turned to Boxley and said, why were you so mean to them? They seem nice to me. Boxley said, I didn't want to play with them. Besides, we were having our own fun together. Stick Boy knew that Boxley wasn't being a good friend. He was doing bad things and being mean to people. The next day, Stick Boy told Cookie all about the things that Boxley did the day before. Cookie was shocked. But what did you do, Stick Boy? asked Cookie. I didn't do anything, Cookie, Stick Boy said. Cookie was surprised. You did nothing? Didn't you tell Boxley to stop doing all of those things? Didn't you walk away? Stick Boy put his head down. No, Cookie, I didn't. Cookie asked, Did you know that just being there while Boxley did bad things made it seem like you did the bad things too? Stick Boy was surprised. Really? Yes, Stick Boy. You didn't stop Boxley or leave him there, and that makes you wrong too. It's like you two were a team doing bad things. A team? Oh, no. Stick Boy felt bad. You were just as bad as Boxley, even if you just stood there and did nothing. That makes you a follower, Stick Boy. Stick Boy said, Wow. I didn't even know that. So what do I do now? Cookie said, let's see. As they walked past the old house, they saw Mr. Cone Man there fixing the house. Hi, Mr. Cone Man. What are you doing? Asked Cookie. Hey there, Cookie. Well, somebody made a mess here and I'm here to fix it. Cookie looked at Stick Boy and smiled. I have an idea, said Cookie. She whispered the idea to Stick Boy. That's a great idea, Stick Boy said as he stepped forward. Excuse me, Mr. Cone Man. Is it okay to ask my mom if I can help you fix this house? Stick Boy asked. Mr. Cone Man smiled. That would be great, Stick Boy. The more help I get, the better. Stick Boy felt better. Then Cookie said, I'm going to ask my mom if I can help too. Stick Boy and Cookie looked at each other and smiled. The next day, Stick Boy and Cookie went back to the house. Mr. Cone Man was still there fixing up the house. Stick Boy said, Thanks for coming to help with me, Cookie. That's what friends do, Stick Boy, said Cookie, and they helped Mr. Cone Man fix the house as friends.